What is up my Rosa Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but today guys I want to talk to you all about is the spec ops in Modern Warfare. So this game mode was introduced to us in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and it was really really good to be honest. I think it was anyway. So of course I was naturally hyped to hear and hyped to play this game mode yet again. Now once I finished the campaign, the ending of the campaign said the story continues in Spec Ops. Which for me was great, I was like yes this is it, I want more. So I decided to go and play and I live streamed it a bit. Now it was on Mixer, link to that will be in the description below. But then it dawned on me, while playing this game mode, I found it incredibly, incredibly difficult to complete the objectives. And now, I thought just, this was just me, like, however, it was constantly happening to me. So I asked myself, am I the only one that this is happening to? So I did a little bit of research and looked at people who were playing this game mode, who were either on live streaming it on Mixer or Twitch or even YouTube or people who are uploading it or people on Twitter as well and I gotta say a lot of people were mad it was like this game mode it isn't like anything we really were promised like this game mode is probably the worst game mode that we've ever seen put into a Call of Duty game so after countless times of playing the first mission I just gave up and I said you really can't do these missions solo like you need a team and when I say team I mean you need your friends people who will communicate and pe with you and people with actual thumbs that know how to play COD there's also once the enemies know that you're there in the fucking place it's a complete and utter cluster fuck the enemies can spawn anywhere at any time and it's just constant now in the campaign you can take out a certain amount of enemies say in a room or maybe if you're outside fighting or something like that you take out so many people that are there and after a few seconds they're gone but in the spec ops they keep coming so if you kill some in this room They'll constantly be respawning after just seconds and it becomes crazy. Another thing I also noticed was how when you're trying to shoot an enemy and they shoot you first, your character actually flinches up so much you might as well be shooting the birds in the sky. It's crazy how much the flinch is. Like, it's so bad. Another thing I noticed was armor. Now in this game mode, armor is shockingly bad. You could get armor and the first enemy that you see just starts to shoot you and your armor is basically gone straight away. Now I have played this game mode and I did run an M4A1 and a 725 when it was good. Which now I look back was kind of dumb. To be sort of successful in this game mode you need to have a riot shield on your back. So as not to get shot in the back from enemies or if you're up against a juggernaut you can block his bullets. Another thing is objectives in this game mode are extremely, extremely boring. You're basically just running to one place, either downloading something or doing something else, and then having to run to another objective and do it again. And this is the whole mission. There's no variety in this game mode, and it's sad. Like, I really like... They should have done the missions like the missions from the Modern Warfare campaign or even have ones from previous campaigns like Infinity Ward should take a look at the old Spec Ops missions and try not to recreate these but base it kind of around them and you know that would be great you have the missions from Modern Warfare 3 I think it was or 2 where you could be like a sniper and you're sniping people and all this and be all stealthy and everything that's something that they could do now they did put out a hotfix that was released a while ago and it made some changes to the difficulty of Spec Ops missions. However, I feel like it didn't do anything or it didn't change it that much. Maybe just a few percent because it's still pretty hard to complete these uh, missions. Now don't get me wrong, people have completed these but even 
those people are complaining about how bad and how hard it is. So if we take uh, Zombies from the other Call of Duty g title games, they have a tons of replayability. And you could go back playing and doing easter eggs and shitting zombies. And like even if you take COD Ghosts with Extinction. Now there was only one Extinction, but just like in Zombies, you could have who could survive the highest round and pack a punch guns easter eggs of course you didn't have that in extinction but you had easter eggs and that that you could get as well and a lot more like i feel they don't feel like oh my god spec ops yeah i'm gonna hop on and play this one mission and it could take up to an hour to play this and you'd be lucky enough to even complete it like the main thing that puts me off this was not being able to do shit like the abilities, the guns, off the ground, ammo, armor and more like it's just it wasn't it wasn't good. There are four people who you could be and there's no leveling up system for these characters. You could be like a heavy and have say like FMJ bullets and they can get better armor or the armor is better etc etc kind of like that or ammo in this game mode is extremely rare to come by and you actually got to look around and actually find crates with these things in them now it's not really like that but it's still at times you'd be there like oh my god come on i can't find anything like and it's just ridiculous they have a point system in the game however they could easily have this in the game mode and say like 300 points for armor or ammo or a stem shot etc etc like and it could be just done like kill streaks and this is one of the worst game modes we have ever seen made in a Call of Duty title and to be honest this game has kind of been fairly disappointing like there was a huge potential for this game to be huge and feel and I just you know I just feel like Infinity War didn't put much time into this game and it kind of shows and of course I'll have videos coming out in the future on this game uh, it could even have new series as well you never know coming up never know never know but yeah I hope you kind of like this video it was kind of fun just to rant you know but if you did hit the like button this is the end of the video guys so i just want to say thank you for being here if you're still here uh, i am on twitter link will be in the description below or if you're on twitter right now put in at lord underscore originals just like my youtube channel if you are a twitch person and you want to go follow my twitch the link to that will be in the description below if you're already on twitch as well if you have it open in a browser or something just put in lord underscore originals as well just like my twitter just like my youtube and of course if you are on mixer as well do the same thing mixer is in link to that will be in down in the description below uh lord underscore originals and of course if you're somebody from either twitch mixer uh twitter thank you and i hope you did like it Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.